I'm going to show you the main ending for Call to the Lamb and also tell you what the other endings were. I didn't catch them because I forgot to back up my save, but this video is definitely a spoiler. If you don't want to be spoiled, why are you watching this? Okay, I'm going to show you the ending and then I'm going to talk to you about the other alternatives you could have picked are.
Okay, so that was like the most standard way to end it. The other choices are you can choose to not spare the one who waits, in which case you'll 
kill him in a really short animation, and then you'll get a trophy that you can build as a decoration in your house. And then the other ending is you accept and give him the crown at the beginning of all that. And it's like a 10 second scene where he just kills you. Now I didn't get to catch those myself because I forgot to back up my save, but what I showed you was the longest sequence of events that you can do. It's the normal ending. So those are your three choices. There are three different ways you can end it. And that's really all there is to the game. Also, if you came here wondering about new game plus, as far as I can find, there is no New Game Plus. There's post-game. You can keep playing the game forever and then finish all the quests and see everything there is to see and get all the decorations and stuff and build your base. But I can't find a New Game Plus, and I tried Googling it and couldn't find anything on a New Game Plus. So if there is, maybe it's like if you 100% everything, it would be the only possibility unless there's some hidden thing somewhere that I can't find. But as far as I know right now personally, I guess there's no New Game Plus. So hopefully that helps you out. That's the endings. And again, if you accept and let him take the crown, he just kills you real fast. That's over. It's over. It's not much. It's like five, ten seconds. And if you kill him, you just kill him and get a decoration for a trophy to put in your house. Um, with that being said, I'm also going to show you the credits that run at the end of that. And then after that, I'm just going to end the video. Oh, and by the way, the one who waits, he turns into a follower if you spare him, and he has this trait, Immortal, and he'll never die. So just a nice little post-game perk if you do go that route. 